Hey, this is Mr. Reed, and this is AP Calculus AB, and this is the 2019 AP Calculus AB exam, problem number three. So we're going to be going through the 2019 exam. We've already been through problems number one and two, which use a calculator, but now we get to the part of the exam where we don't use a calculator. And so this is going to, going to be all of our hard work without a calculator. And so you can see right here, I have a function. This function is the graph of f of x. And one thing we know is that at point 3, it is going to be at 3 minus root 5. That is something to keep in mind. Uh, we have a little circle right here on this side. And the first thing they ask us is an area problem, an integral problem. And so what they're saying is this. From negative 6, which is all the way over here at negative 6, all the way to 5, the total area is 7. I want to know the area of just from negative 2. To, for, sorry, from negative 6 to negative 2. So my job is to, what is this area right here? Well, keep in mind, if I know the integral of from negative 6 to 5 of f of x, which is 7, that's equal to the integral from negative 6 all the way to negative 2, which is what we're trying to find, plus from negative 2 all the way to 5 of my f of x. And so you can see how this is what I'm trying to find. I know this is equal to 7 right here. And all I have to do is, if I'm trying to figure out what this area is right here, dx, don't forget your dx's, dx, dx, and dx, I need to know what the area of, of the graph is, basically. And so I take a look at my graph. So right here, my area is equal to 1 half. Okay, but this guy is equal to negative one half, so that cancels out. There's an area right here of negative one fourth, but there's an area right here of one fourth. So all of these areas are going to cancel out. So just think about it. If I do the area right here, and the area right here, and the area right here, and the area right here, the, the sum of those areas are equal to zero. So I don't really even care about those areas which means all I really care about is the leftover areas because those canceled out. This area is equal to 1, obviously. This one is 1 half base times height, which is equal to 1. So we have 2 right here. Then we have our circle, okay? And what's the area of a circle? E area equals pi r squared. So the radius is equal to 3. So the area of this circle right here is 9 pi. The total area of this entire thing is equal to 9. 3 times 3 is 9, which means this area right here that we're trying to find is equal to 9 minus 9 pi. 9 minus 9 pi over 4. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This is one-fourth of that total area because it's only a quarter of your pizza pie. Okay, So 9 minus 9 pi over 4, which means what is the total area is going to be 11 minus 9 pi over 4, which means I can do just some quick algebra to find my area from negative 6 to negative 2, it's going to be 7 minus this guy, which means it is going to be equal to 9 pi over 4 minus 4. 9 pi over 4 minus 4. This was worth 3 points. 1 point for kind of setting up the logic of my problem right here. One point for finding the area from the negative 2 to 5, and one point for the answer. So very logical. One point for setting up the, the, the areas. One point for finding the area of my graph. One point for my final answer. Three points for A. Now let's go to B. B is asking to evaluate an, an integral, but we're only trying to evaluate an integral from negative 3 to 5. Okay, And the integral is going of 2 f prime of x plus 4d of x, which means I can kind of split this up 
into using my addition rule here we are going to do the constant is 2 from 3 to 5 of f prime of x dx plus from 3 to 5 the integral of 4 d of x makes it a little bit easier for me which means what's the integral of f prime of x is just f of x okay so 2 times f of x and we're going from 3 to 5 and what's the other one is what's the integral of 4 with respect to x is 4x and I'm going again from 3 to 5 so what are we doing here is 2 times f of 5 minus f of 3 plus 4 times 5 which is 20 minus 4 times 3 which is 12 I'm doing really 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 good now I'm just taking a look at my graph what's f of 5 equal to f of 5 is equal to 0 minus what's f of 3 equal to well they told me right there it's equal to 3 minus root 5 okay and don't forget I have a 2 here and I'm plus 8 plus 8 so let's take a look at what happens I have well, I have to distribute this negative to everyone so I have negative 3 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 uh, negative 6 plus my 8 is equal to 2 then I distribute the negative that equals positive root 5 I multiply by 2 so 2 root 5 and that is my final answer is 2 plus 2 root 5 this is going to be worth two points. Uh, one point for using the fundamental theorem of calculus right here. One point for basically finding my integral. And one point for my answer. So two points. One point for finding my integral. One point for using the fundamental theorem of calculus. One point for my answer of 2 plus 2 root 5. Now let's go on to C. C, you can c is saying we have a function g of x g of x is equal to the integral from negative 2 to x of f of t dt you can see the fundamental theorem of calculus rearing its ugly head right here again and we want to find the absolute maximum value of g which means how do we find f figure out the absolute maximum value of g of uh, g of x is we need to take the derivative of g of x and set it equal to zero. That's the first derivative test. The first derivative test. So I have g of x is equal to, I need to take the derivative of negative 2 to x of f of t dt. And hopefully you can see I have the fundam fundamental theorem of calculus here. I have the derivative of the integral. I have a constant of negative 2, so I'm just going to plug in f of x, and I'm going to set that equal to 0. That is what my value is. So where on my graph is the f of x equal to 0? My graph is of f of x. So where is it equal to 0? It's equal to 0. These are called my critical points. Critical points are going to be at x is equal to negative 1, x is equal to 1, one half, positive 1 half, and as x is equal to 5. Now keep in mind, I'm looking for the absolute, the absolute max, which means I also have to include my endpoints. So negative 2 and positive 5, positive 5 is already a critical number, I have to include those endpoints which means now I'm going to take a look at a little graph or a little table of x is negative 2 that's a possible value x is negative 1 x is equal to 1 half and x is equal to 5 and I'm going to take a look at g of x g of x and so keep in mind what is g of x saying g of x is saying g of x is equal to from the integral from negative 2 to x of f of t dt. So I'm going to plug in each one of these values and see. So what is g, g of negative 2? That gives us the integral from negative 2 to negative 2 of f of t dt, okay, or f of x dx. 
What's the integral from negative 2 to negative 2? That's 0. We've gone 0 area. Again, we're thinking in terms of area because the g of x is asking you for the area of the f graph. So then it says, what about from negative 2 to, to negative 1? What's the area from negative 2 to negative 1? I know it's equal to 1 half, 1 half based on height. What's the area all the way to 1 half? Well, this positive area and this negative area canceled out, which means I'm left with this area right here, which was 1 quarter. Okay. Again, I'm looking for the absolute maximum. So right now, who's winning out? Negative 1 is winning out, isn't it? But then they ask, all the way from negative 2 to 5. So what's the area all the way from negative 2 to 5? Okay. We go back to A. Think about A. We knew the area from negative 2 to 5. It was 11 minus 9 pi over 4, okay? And so I know the area, 11 minus 9 pi over 4, okay? Um, <laughs> all I have to do is think about this logically. I know pi over 4 is really close to 1, right? It's a little bit less, which means this is going to be a little bit less than 9. So 11 minus 9 is 2, which means this is my absolute maximum. My absolute maximum, my absolute maximum is going to be at g, um, sorry, yes, g of 5, which is going to be equal to 11 minus 9 pi over 4. And that is my answer. Now this was worth three points, obviously. Three points, one point for understanding this fundamental theorem of calculus is we're setting the f of x equal to zero. Um, the, you get a, another point for understanding kind of your candidates here, okay, your critical points. One point for indi indicating your candidates and then one point for your final answer one point for your final answer of the absolute max is at 5, which is going to give you negative, sorry, 11 minus 9 pi over 4. Now we go to the last part of the problem. The last part of the problem looks really, really, really hard, doesn't it? Okay, we have a limit as x approaches 1 of 10 to the x minus 3f prime of x over f of x minus arctan of x. Now, what can we do with limits is we can plug them in. If we get undefined, if we get infinity over infinity or zero over zero, we're going to do Hopital's rule and do the derivative on the top and bottom. But let's see if this works. We have 10 to the first power minus 3f prime of 1 over f of 1 minus arc tan of 1. So what's 10 to the first power? That's 10. What's minus 3 times f prime of 1? Well, what is f prime of 1? That would be the slope at 1. What's the slope at 1? 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 divided by 2 is 2. So we have 3 times 2. So 10 minus 6 is 4. I'm doing pretty good so far. They asked, what's f of 1? f of 1 is equal to 1, isn't it? Okay. What's arctan of 1? Well, th think about it. Where will the arctan of 1 is equal to pi over 4? Because tangent of pi over 4 equals a slope of 1. So we have pi over 4. And we're left with 1 over pi over 4. And that is my limit. My, I can do direct substitution for my limit. And there is only one point for this problem. It is the 1.4 the answer right there. We have a nine point problem for number three. You can see there's three points for letter A. We have two points for letter B. That's five points total. We have three more points for letter C, which is eight points. And then our ninth point is four over one minus pi over four. So this was the 2019 AP Chem, a, a, sorry, AT, AP Chem, AP Calculus AP exam number three. Thanks guys.